Good morning, YouTubers. I got a tip for you today how to remove tonsil stones. I'm not a doctor or anything of the means. I had tonsil stones in the past. I understand the hell they can go through with tonsils swollen up. So I'm going to give you what I use. They told you to use, uh, told me to use q tips and stuff like this, which I gagged and it was pretty horrible. So I uh, came up with using a water pick. Yeah, a water pick. You can get one of the the ones that pump that you can control. Put it right in your tonsil. Start spraying. You'll see the the stones start coming right out. And also another tip for you to kill the bacteria of the tonsil stones is you can get food grade hydrogen peroxide. You could probably try the other peroxide. Just don't swallow it. The um, one in the stores, the three percent. But I prefer to use food grade. Uh, I know it's safest. So uh, you take that. You can put it in your water pick. You can either mix it with some solution of water, but I like putting it straight. Or make the 35% down to 3% and put it straight because I've been doing it for so long. But you can do like a 50-50 mix. Spray it in your tonsil. Don't swallow. Let it sit there. It will foam up. It will kill a lot of bacteria. It may take a few months, but it might be the way to eliminate your tonsil stones. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more tips. Alright, take care guys. Until next time. Good morning, YouTubers. Johnny Dell back with an update. Um, I made my last video. I wasn't really prepared. I was just, uh, I wanted to get information out there to help people with tonsil stones. But I had no idea I was going to get over a thousand views and hopefully get that information to help some people out there. So I just wanted to be a little bit more detailed about it. Showed you, show you my uh, water pick I use. Um, and also, uh, some people say they don't use the power water pick because it's too powerful when you start you start out slow This is the water pick I use. It's got a little pump here. You fill it inside Fill that up with water. I, I also put my uh, hydrogen peroxide in there. I do the mix if I feel like I put it right here. It reaches back there perfectly. You stick out your tongue uh, for those that don't that are new at this you stick out your tongue you put this back there um, have the water in there spray softly at first see if you get any stones out go around the stones you can even push on your tonsil with this flat and push get the tonsil the stones a little loose spray stick in your tonsil spray just start out slow because you can hit your um, nerve inside here and it can be a little painful when it's swollen up but you get used to it when you're done, you get the stones out. That's when I put the hydrogen peroxide in. Um, I used grapefruit extract before, and I used to gurgle with it. It didn't help much. It maybe get my uh, at first if I had bad breath, it killed killed the bacteria there. But the hydrogen peroxide food grade works great. If you want the food grade, you can buy a three percent online, or you can buy the thirty-five percent and make 11 pots ounces of water the one pot 35 percent hydrogen peroxide gives you the three the 3.5 hydrogen peroxide and if that's still too powerful at first um, you can do another mixture when you put it in here just fill it halfway and do distilled water the other half I recommend distilled water because you never know what's in the faucet water if you do use the faucet water and you put the hydrogen in it watch for any reactions first you see a reaction don't use it if it don't bubble or anything it should be fine should be safe uh, shouldn't be an issue uh, hold it back there let it foam up after you spray it do the 50 50 first because it could you know if things are infected it, they can burn a little bit so you might just want to do maybe a fourth just start out with very little and then the rest water spray it in there hold it in there about two minutes uh, let it just foam up there. You should be able to breathe through your nose or whatever. Do one side at a time. Um, you don't just don't swallow it. Um, if you do swallow, it shouldn't be no big deal. Hydrogen peroxide it reacts with vitamin C. Well, if you have a full stomach, if you swallow a little, it's not going to do anything. Uh, so don't don't like just take a vitamin and do it because it can react with vitamin C if you have a lot of you know big amounts. So don't worry about it. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys with that. Leave any comments. 
like this video, share this video with anybody that you know that has the issue. A lot of people don't talk about it a lot because, you know, embarrassing, whatever. I had the issue for, uh, since I was 28, uh, about eight years. Then when I discovered this, I started, it, it, I had a ton of stones and then it went down to pretty much nothing and just about gone. There's deep ones in there that, um, you know, come up once in a while and I haven't had any new stones in a long time. Good luck.